Yeah, ain't gonna be on no episodes, nigga. Nah, yeah, we on, we we live, we live. I picked these niggas up live off the Long V streets. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas owe me. That's we, funny. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Yo, what up? This is Mike Brown. And this is Alpha. And this is the art of letting go. Letting go. Letting go. So yeah, man, we in here. You know, we was walking down the street. <laughs> right, right. Straight up. Straight up. Walking and down. down the street. Straight up and down. And I hear a horn, you know, somebody honking. You know, and I hear hey yo. It was more like, hey yo. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Hey nigga. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. So I look over. And who do I see? Kelly Campbell. Keithy. Keith. 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 Oh. Keith. Keith. <laughs> but I did see Kelly Campbell, because that's who I thought it was yeah, first. That's real. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> that the first time. But that what's going on, weird. man? How you doing? I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here, you know, chilling with y'all niggas, trying to get a feel for this. This is my first time on a podcast, so, you know. That's what's up, man. Well, you can, you can start by telling people just who you are and what you do. Uh, I ain't going to give you niggas my government. Uh, unless you want me to just let people y'all know. Y'all can follow me. <laughs> y'all can follow me on Instagram at Fresh Faded Free. Or, oh yeah, follow the clothing line also. I do clothing. Uh, it's pretty much right now just a online lookbook. It's, um almighty underscore streetwear uh that's just my focus right now you know what i'm saying as far as my path of life so that's, that's real. i like to see it that's real so we was uh literally just like i haven't seen you <laughs> since <laughs> since yeah. oh, wow. it's been a minute bro like Ooh, it's been man. like more than 10 years yeah since the last time i seen you so it's funny <clears throat> for everybody listening We've been talking on Instagram for like two years. He lived like three blocks from me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he like, lived like three blocks from me, and we haven't seen house. each other <laughs> in three the three year, two or three years that we've been like, yeah, we go get up, we go get up. I told and, uh, him, bro, I be on some, yeah, bro. I'm a link with you. You know how Jigga be? I be on that Jigga shit. <laughs> I, you know, I'm gonna get with you. It's real. You know that boy. So how we normally do stuff is. Mike I ain't gonna kinda, hold y'all niggas. It's good to see y'all niggas, man. For it's real. good to see you too. Straight up. That's that's okay. really what I was gonna say, man. It's good to see you because in school I remember you one way. You know what I mean? And <laughs> to have conversation with you, like it make me appreciate your growth because I see you growing and shit, and it make me Thank recognize you, mine as well. So I really appreciate that. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, man. It's uh, it is really dope because I really remember. Lil Keith, like I remember, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you gonna hit me with the Lil Keith, yeah. <laughs> but I say I remember that, but you're not that no more. Like, I'm looking yeah. at you like this nigga's really grown, and it's really cool to see. Like, I haven't seen you or your brother in over 10 years, and so to see you now, you yeah. out here doing your thing, it's, it's painful that it's been that long. It is, yeah, like, but you know what's so dope about it is I feel like ain't nothing changed. Like, I yeah. feel like we just, yeah, had conversation like that's how real niggas link you feel me (laughs) and so it was dope it was really dope to kind of just be able to talk so mike mr brown man what you want to highlight about i really want to talk about growth and i say that because you know we all went to school together we all went to xavier together um and this feel like the classroom right now you know when you in class and you working on your shit and i'm working on my shit we comparing notes to see you know, well, what you got for this? And we might have the same thing. We might have something different. But, you know, connecting with you and talking to you, I really I really just want to hear more about your growth path because, shit, you know, last time I seen you was maybe 2010, 2011, somewhere around yeah, there. It's been that long. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, been a minute, bro. you know, and you were still key from Xavier. And like I said, I recognize your growth. So it's like, I really just want to know how how you got here. How did you get to where you are today? Um, I would truthfully and honestly accredit it to the favor of God. That's real. That's real. You know, like uh, 
I try to move humbly. You know, I've learned that over the years, you know. I've done some pretty obnoxious things, you know. <laughs> right, right. So it's like, um, I don't want to sound old, but I just feel like at a certain age, you just mature, you know, like you try to see stuff before it happens, you know what I'm saying? Just based yeah. off of, you know, life paths prior to that, mm -hmm. especially at a more younger adolescent age, you know, you feel that invincibility, you know? Yeah. But as you grow more mature, you become more... I would say aware and um, wise to certain situations. Some certain, some excuse me, some situations uh, are harder than most. Yeah, you know, and a lot of them are easier after time. You know what I'm saying? So, is it these, the situation or the habit? Um. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, habit is a bitch, bro. Yeah. Like, I think that's really what it is. It's just the habit. Like, yeah. if it's programmed, it's programmed. You feel right. me? Like, but, like I told my brother, man, if I ever had kids, the advice I would give them when they get to a, an age in which they can comprehend how I would best summarize life. Um, I would tell them that life is just a series, is just doing a series, series of things you do not want to do to get to where you want to get. Because if you think about everything in your life that you do not want to do right now, you can just think of the most randomest thing mm -hmm. naturally or I would say it would conclude in something positive for you. Absolutely. You know what and, I'm saying? And I think when you're aware of that, you just got to go with it. Like, nah, fuck. you know what I do? I just throw myself. Yeah, into that's it. what I'm saying. You, know what I'm you saying? just, like, you just got to go just into do it. it. Like, that's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. You feel me? Like, and that's what I would say life is to me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I play life. I would 100% agree with you. Like, you know, it's it's all about process. You can't rush the process. It's gonna At go. All. It's gonna go how it's supposed to go. You just gotta keep moving in the right direction. That's important too, though. Like the movement, you have to keep moving. Like if you if you allow yourself to become stagnant at any point, you you your life will literally let you stay there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever is good or bad, like you gotta keep pushing. Like that's just what it is. And it, eventually, I want to ask because I'm actually in a in a you know, I'm married now. I mean, you probably don't know. Yeah. I'm married now. I've been married okay. for six years. And um, for me, appreciate that. For me, uh, we, we, you know, we at that point, we want to have kids. And so I'm thinking about those kind of conversations. So it's funny that you mentioned that. And something that I would add to that is <clears throat> to stay focused on what it is that you want. Like, even though you got to do a bunch of stuff that you don't necessarily want to do, if you focus your attention and your energy toward what you want, all of that. But see, that goes back to the RAD. I don't know if y'all, like, study the re reticular activating system. Nah. Nah. It's pretty Lightness, much... <laughs> it's pretty much like a... Um, how should I put this? It's pretty much the filter for your brain's intake but okay. it's based off of things that are parallel to your life like in an inst like the example that they always give is you know how before you didn't have a certain vehicle and then you go out and buy that vehicle you start seeing them everywhere yeah, yeah. yeah. That's an example of RAS. Your brain dismisses every other vehicle and goes to that one because it's um, detrimental to your life. It's something that's major in your life. That's the car that you depend on, you know? Yeah. And it's funny because 
I used to feel those things, and I I guess I don't pay attention to them that much anymore. But I don't really feel shit like that see, no more. That's another thing. They got something called the parallel. I mean, not the parallel, but the paradigm shift. Mm-hmm. The paradigm is. I don't want to sound like I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but <laughs> the paradigm is pretty much um, the part in your brain that is pretty much like the fight or flight mm-hmm. anytime like you're uncomfortable doing something what do you do you always revert back to what you know that's the paradigm in your like in your mind mm-hmm. it is like a, a cautionary thing well, like I, th- I think you gotta be I think you have to be very self-aware I think in a, especially in the times that we live in today you gotta be self-aware cause it's like you know, I do that shit too sometimes, but at the same time, when I recognize it and I'm aware of it, I always ask myself, well, why why am I reacting to this like this or why am I doing this? And I try to think about that earliest memory. What what situation affected me to handle this this way? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it may not happen every time, but at the same time, I really try to be aware of that shit. Introspection is really key. Like, you really got to look. Like you're saying, like looking back on that Absolutely. situation, looking at who you are and how you react in, in certain things that you do. Like, I don't have the, the terms, but I understand exactly what you're yeah. talking about yeah. as far as the paradigm shift and all of that. Like, I, you know, I don't know the term, but I definitely do a lot of introspection. N- niggas got to read, man. Niggas got to read. That's all. Man, niggas got to read. Niggas got to live, too. Um, That's real. Can't be afraid to live. Like, you know. I feel like for me, I've read a lot, but experience probably got me further than anything in my life because so it's taught me my hardest lessons. When you say live, what do you mean in what sense? When I say live, I'm talking about living without that uh, that barrier of fear. You know, we all we all have things that we aspire Paradigm. to be <laughs> and things that we aspire to do, and it's just like we have to consciously make that choice to do those things you know what i'm saying even even when that shit looks scary even when that shit look like it may not work the only way you're gonna really get the true lesson out of the shit if it don't work that's the only way you're gonna get the lesson right. is if you do it if you don't Straight do up. it you'll never know but see that's why they say failure is way more valuable than success absolutely it's the best you know? teacher absolutely yeah. it's definitely the best it teacher. gets you to to success they go hand in hand, and at, and at the same time, it's like you gotta look at success for you. Like, what does su- what does success look like for you? Because a lot of times we judge success by this standard yeah, that yeah. somebody else gave us. Like, my content. success may look different than your success. Yeah, most definitely, but I mean, yeah, I don't really feel like that's really an issue nowadays. Like you said, especially with this whole platform, everybody. Yeah. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody now in this day and age is just like doing their own thing, you know? Absolutely. And I love that. <clears throat> so, I love that. We were just talking about like different people we went to school with that are out here who are all on a different path. And uh, I was telling Mike before we saw you mm-hmm. that um, I really want to start hanging out with black men more, like just being around black men more often because I miss it. Like I, okay. I just don't do it a whole lot. And then you pulled up, you know what I'm saying? And so it was dope. Like that boy got that timing. <laughs> <laughs> it was dope. So I feel like all this, and you, and, and it's even crazier too because we normally record on Tuesdays, and we recorded today. We, I was, my cousin was supposed to come today. What's but today? He, Monday. 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 Okay. My cousin was supposed to come today, but he couldn't make it. So we was like, all right, well, we'll still get up. And we'll still do what we got to do. And then we seen you. So none of this is on accident. Like, wow. None of this is on accident at all. And I think it's, I'm this actually all like facts. taking aback. Like I'm sitting all back and I'm facts. just watching y'all two talk. And I'm like, this is so crazy. Like, this is so <laughs> dope to me that this is happening right now. You know Mike what I'm saying? Is, this is cool, man. Mike like is, I'm really, Mike I'm is happy. on that level, man. <laughs> I'm happy. Mike, Mike is on that level, yo. A, a lot of living, man. A lot of experience oh, got yeah. me here la put you through it 
Absolutely. That's yeah. for sure. Man. Shout out LA. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Because you really be by yourself out here. Yeah. Like LA is big. There's a lot of people out here, but you really by yourself out Niggas. here. And you really got to figure it out. This like you have to grow, grow up. You. But, but, yeah, but I, I was but just I about feel to like, say this shit will grow you. Yeah. you need, but that's what you need definitely. though in life. You yeah. know what I mean? For like, sure. And honestly, even more than LA, I think it's always been in us. You know what I mean? When you think about shit how many people you probably went to high school with that stayed at home and you ended up going to new orleans and then you took right. a step and went to la who right. knows you might be in fucking london next anything yeah you know i, I, I mean? would love to live in the uk bro straight up no lie that shit reminds me of what america used to be yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's real that's real keeping it real that's real so going forward uh i think that i've been doing life a lot on my own you know what i'm saying like yeah i'm married but it's you need different. that though you need it but at a certain point you need that community too oh yeah for sure and i feel like right now i'm at a place where i need that community and so i really want to try our best to not we ain't gotta get up every day you feel me but to get up oh, more yeah, often for you sure, feel me? like to go from zero to one <laughs> you know it'll be it'll be pointless not to at this point you know what i'm saying like niggas then linked up we seen that it ain't really like like niggas ain't lost a step you feel me right, like, right. so why wouldn't i kick it with y'all niggas if not i'm just gonna be posted or chilling with this nigga pap hey shout out my nigga <laughs> pap johnson what's good pap you know what i'm saying Good. The realest nigga in comedy. <laughs> Fuck with my boy, you know. Definitely. Pap, that's P A P P Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Hit him on Instagram. He need to come on here too. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, we all gonna get up. It's but definitely you know, gonna happen. It's like, why wouldn't I hang with y'all niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, I see it ain't on no like uncomfortable shit. You right. Know? Yeah. Like, it's just vibes you yeah. know it's a vibe you yeah. feel me so and it's always and it still feels exactly the same as it did when we was in school most like definitely. when we was in new orleans you know what i'm saying like it feels most the definitely. same and that's what i'm it's, loving about this like kick back yeah you feel me like it's nothing you just ain't doing no knucklehead shit <laughs> right <laughs> now, it, it, it feel it feel very grown though and i say that just because it's like you know, niggas are able to have conversations about more shit than clothes and fucking oh, yeah, shoes. Sure. Like, niggas can talk about real I shit. I mean, if that's all you still talking about, my boy, then, you know, you ain't live. Like right. you said, niggas ain't living. Yeah. You ain't live. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's think, all you know still. I think this happened at the perfect time. Like, I know, like, you and me been talking about getting up for a minute, but I think today was supposed to be the day lightning definitely struck <laughs> absolutely like so many different like even what you were saying like yeah. i wasn't gonna go to the gas station but i decided to go to the gas station i wasn't Your boy was riding on it. fumes baby <laughs> catching the vapors i'm right. like i'm trying to get to the crib i ain't even trying to stop yeah, yeah man so this is this is dope this is dope so this is you, you got you got something else you so why you think we linked up i believe in um Everything is already preordained, man. Yeah. And I feel like um, I'm a child of God. I can sense that y'all are children of God. You know what I'm saying? So it's like being brought on one accord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how they say if two or three come together. Yeah. And he's in the presence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So your boy, he kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Right yeah, now. absolutely. So that's cool. I can feel it, bro. That's cool. That's what's up. Straight that's up. Really cool. Shoot, well, let the people know where they can find you. Y'all can find me on Instagram. I already told, <laughs> already told y'all. Fresh Faded Free at Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Or, well, yeah, follow the brand also. It is Almighty underscore Streetwear. That's Almighty underscore Streetwear. And uh, my personal page, again, is Fresh Faded Free. And, um, yeah, I don't really Twitter or Snapchat or tweet od or none of that <laughs> other stuff you know what i'm saying <laughs> i try to keep it simple you know what i'm saying I feel it. I feel for it. the purposes of business i am you know trying to you know expand my <laughs> portfolio right i feel that yeah because i don't think none of us really like well I, i'll speak on my behalf i don't i don't really like all of that oh i'm out let me take a picture of the oh, post yeah. nah 
I'm over that. I'm I can't over do it. I'm not really a fan. I'm good. You know what? I don't even keep it hunting with you. I don't even have uh, notifications turned on for apps on my phone. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. I don't. Instagram, none of that shit. Mm-hmm. Niggas be like, yo, I sent you a message a couple days ago. Nigga, when I get on is when I get on. Yeah. I feel like when you have the notifications. That's healthy. Yeah, when I mean, you have the notifications on, it snatches you to the yeah. phone. You know? Yeah, yeah. I want to be in control. You right. know what I'm saying? I ain't going to let the phone control me. Yeah. So when I look at it is when I look at it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so all y'all niggas know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Man, get James, at your boy. <laughs> James told me once, before you pick up your phone, take a breath and really think about why you're picking up your phone. Every time you do it, just think about it. <laughs> Take a breath in, just period. That's real. So yeah, we go. We definitely go get up more. I'm. I mean, y'all hear me say it every week. I'm Alpha A L F P H A underscore presents on everything. Instagram, Twitter. Um, Facebook. I'm gonna have to look into getting a Twitter. You know, I got Twitter, bro. I'm never on Twitter. You can't really rant on, on Instagram, Instagram no, you like can. you can on you Twitter. Can. Yeah. You can. <laughs> I'm not really a ranter. You know what I'm saying? I don't really rant either. <laughs> but, you know, I try to drop inspiration. You That's know what real. I'm saying? So I feel it. I'm going to try to start doing that on my page as far as, you know. Well, I try to have it to where I tell a story with my page. You know what I'm saying? You can yeah. get a feel for who I am based off my page. I don't want it to just be a gang of selfies right. and uh bunch of buy this buy that you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying it's just me man like and that's how i want it to be you know like so hopefully people get a feel for that shit but i would like to use my platform for positive purposes though so that's perfect. what's up perfect we all in the same wave mike what can we uh find you at bro you can find me on all social media at just mike brown uh you can find me at primo com. You can find this podcast on SoundCloud and on iTunes at the Art of Letting Go podcast. Subscribe to that. Also on YouTube. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for having me, fellas. I appreciate hey, you man. being on. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Uh, cool, here. man. Great. This is really this is really dope for me. This is a really dope experience for me. <laughs> like you have no idea how happy I am right now. Um, all right, man. Well, uh, let's go ahead and sign off. This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. This is your boy, Keith. Stay blessed, man. And this is the art of letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Peace. <laughs>